this is Tanstad Airport. I'm on my way home to Budapest. I'm gonna spend a week back home, seeing my family, my friends, visit some cool places, and I will document everything as much as I can, of course. Finally a beautiful and sunny day in Budapest. In the last couple of days it was really rainy and cold. There's no point to going out of the house. But today I came to this traditional market. Fruit and vegetable market, meat, all sorts of things. And I'm going to have this Hungarian specialty called the Langos with sour cream and cheese. And behind me everybody's queuing for the Langos. It's a traditional stuff in Hungary. You have to try when you come around here. I'm halfway through eating my langos. It's absolutely amazing. And my face is a mess. Sour cream and cheese everywhere. And on the floor as well. But who cares? Because it tastes so good. I'm in Budapest. to the castle I stop in this little coffee shop and I'm going to have an apple tart and the latte right I'm at the castle district in Budapest right behind me is the fisherman's bastion which is a part of the castle
It's a pretty awesome city if you're a tourist. Can you hear the bell behind me? It's 12 o'clock, 12 no, basically noon. And this is the reason why all bells rung at 12 o'clock each day because of the Hungarian victory over the Turks in 1456. And everywhere around the world, if you hear a bell from a church at noon is for, for the appreciation of this amazing victory over the Turks in 1456. Now we are entering the most touristic zone. It's called the Vrashmarty Square. Everything is for tourists. Nice food, nice drinks, nice Hungarian stuff. However, everything is overpriced. Extremely overpriced. Not for the tourists, really. <clears throat> but for the locals, it is very expensive. And the quality is not bad at all. Actually, it's, it's a nice atmosphere here. It's like winter wonderland. However, Really, it's very expensive. They don't think about the local. The local people don't really come around here. It's more for the for the British, German, Italian tourists who who don't care. Like considering how much a mulled wine in England, for example, it's quite cheap in here. The next very interesting thing is I'm taking the underground now. The underground which is almost as old as the one in London. So basically the second underground in the continent is the one in Budapest. The first one is in London, the second one was in Budapest. Somewhere in 1898 something was built. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of remember these little details but not the exact story. This is the Hero Square right behind me in Budapest. It's an important part in Hungarian history and in Hungarian tourism. Everybody comes in here to visit this place. Um, the statues right behind me one by one, they are Hungarian kings and rulers, important in our history. And uh, yeah, it's a great place. You can see right over there the, all the kings and rulers and all sorts. They're the modern ones and opposite the yeah the more ancient ones.
over the summer this is a lake so you can rent a boat and just have some fun but over the winter you can do some ice skating like so it's a pretty big area to do some ice skating to be honest and when the day is like that nice and sunny I think that's amazing This is the top of Budapest called Normofa. Sunday afternoon, it's snowing. It's a bit chilly, but everybody's out there. All the children, everybody's ski and all sorts of winter activities. Beautiful. believe that you are in Budapest at this time of the year seems like Austria and mold wine beautiful a bit spicy nice and warm and perfect in this snowy weather 